It's a hobby that one can easily be drawn into and it's surprising the number of people out there who never talk about it uh, but who come along to these shows and, and they just open up, don't they? Yeah. Dolls houses have a very long history. Um, they go right back to the 1700s where they were used to as teaching tools for the, the daughters of wealthy households. So they, they have quite a history and I don't think that's particularly well known. So if you start telling people that you're doing this, their instant reaction is children's dolls houses and what an old thing to be doing. And I think that's partly why it's, it's such a hidden hobby. Collectors dolls houses are a different thing altogether and you can spend thousands and thousands of pounds and I believe there are one or two houses out there where people have spent a hundred odd thousand pounds or more. If someone asks us to make a piece of furniture, then I'll go away and uh, once we've settled on a, um, how something is going to look, I will then draw it up on a piece of graph paper to scale so that it's the right size um, for the scale that we're working in, which is 1 12th. Um, and, and then it, it's just getting down and, and making it. <sighs> A small uh, circular saw and a small electric drill and a sanding disc and that's more or less it. Um, you can't buy chisels that are one uh, sort of one millimeter wide so what you do you take a screwdriver a little jeweler's screwdriver and sharpen it and there you've got your chisel and I've got a whole set of those. Something like uh, the, the Davenport ladies writing desk um, that can take me, if I was to sit down non-stop and do it, it would probably take me two to three days to make. There's an awful lot of uh, fiddling about um, during the construction process. I can stitch, I've always been able to do embroidery and sewing. If I like a design I will try and stitch it, so things that I see, um, the willow pattern things that I've done in the past are, are bits of this and bits of that that I've pulled together to make a design. Both being musicians, uh, that helps with our eye to detail. We, yes. we, we both have a good ear. If you're working as a musician, you're looking for making sure it's right and the top level that you can possibly work at. So you're working at the top end of what you can manage and that has a knock-on effect on what we do here. If, if I make something to scale, I like it to work. The shape of the bellows is actually a guitar plectrum and they actually work and when you apply them to your lips and you puff, you get a little puff of air. There's someone else out, um, out there who makes miniature bellows but they're solid wood and they don't work and that to me is it's not right. <laughs> you do get attached to pieces. Um, I've in the past had a red dragon that goes across four panels on a black black background and it's very striking and um, I loved having it out there. That sold and I was I was quite sad to see that go. Just recently we, had, um, we made up a sideboard a sunburst sideboard to match the Art Deco uh, dining uh, set that we have there. I finished it late on the Friday night. We went up to the Miniatura show in Birmingham on the Saturday and by three o'clock it had been sold and I thought it was a lovely piece and I was hoping that we could get used to it being on the stand for a few shows before it did eventually go. There are three magazines in this country uh, good quality magazines uh, covering the miniatures, the Dolls House Miniatures world and two of them have done some very nice write-ups about our products and about us 
well, so, very exciting actually. It is, to, it's to very nice. stuff out there for the public to see. You do, you do, do build up um, you know, some, some good friends. We, yes. We've got one particular um, couple who um, were right next to us when we first started doing this, um, first our show first did, show. Yes. And they've been very helpful since and, and very friendly and um, yeah. we get on very well with, tend to get on very well with people. One lady actually said to us that it, it was so nice to come to a miniatures show because everybody was of the same mindset and that you didn't get funny looks if you started talking about your, your doll's house collection. So it, it isn't something that is particularly broadcast, but some of the things out there are so beautiful. Yes. And here we are, doing documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> Good.